Hello, everybody, uh, and welcome to this online presentation of the new TELUS 6. Uh, my name is Ian Folger, and I work for Jabla UK. I'm here today to present to you the new TELUS 6 and I6 from Jabla. I'm very happy to meet you all of you online, although this is by no means a physical encounter. I'm even more to happy to have the honour of introducing to you the new star of Jabla, the TELUS 6. We are more than proud of the result we have achieved during this difficult period. First, we launched Mind Express 5, then the Vibe 12, and now this new TELUS. At Jabla, we are always on the lookout for new innovations and always willing to move forward. We think that the TELUS 6 reflects this philosophy. I feel privileged to have a TELUS physically next to me and I will show it to you later even if it does not amount to the fantastic feeling of actually having one in your hands. So here it is, the last child of the TELUS family, the TELUS 6 or I6. Which leads to the question, what is the difference between a TELUS 6 and a TELUS I6? So for people working with switches, joystick, direct touch, or any access method other than eye tracking, there is a version of the Teller 6 without eye tracking. The looks are the same, but the eye tracking is not integrated. For people wishing to use eye gaze access, then the Teller 6 is available with integrated TOBI eye tracking. It's not just us who are enthusiastic. We, are, we also got great feedback from our testers. To make sure this device meets users' needs, we have set them to several sent them to several testers. Aidan is one of the people who has worked extensively with the TELUS, among others. We have received the following messages, which are worth more than this entire presentation that will follow. So I'll let you read the comments, but I particularly like the comment about being able to use his mobile phone while in class. <clears throat> so I'm just hoping that none of his teachers are watching this today. But if Aiden and the other testers are convinced of the new TELUS, just like us, why does this device challenge all other communication devices in the same category? Why would you choose a TELUS 6? Well, there are a lot of reasons, but let's go through the highlights of this new device. First of all, the screen. This 14 inch full high definition capacitive screen is remarkable. It allows good visibility outside and of course inside. The size is a really nice compromise, not too big or not too small. It is big enough to support vocabulary files like SCORE within MindExpress 5. This, combined with MindExpress 5, allows you to program and define settings with the touchscreen without needing an external mouse or keyboard. There are also three buttons on the back of the TELUS allowing you to easily get in and out of editing mode amongst other things. We were lucky to integrate the latest TOBI technology, the IS5. Besides the hardware, we have also added some new functionalities to our eye tracking. This allows a really fast and accurate eye tracking experience. A great new feature is the ability to pause the eye tracking by looking at the camera. And we call this feature the off-screen pause. By looking at the camera for a few seconds, you will hear a beep that tells you that the eye tracking is paused. This is very useful as it allows you to avoid having to program a pause button on every page of your page sets. But we go even further than this. It is also possible to put the TELUS into standby mode by looking at the camera. If you look a little bit longer at the camera, you will hear a second beep that tells you that your system has gone into standby. You can then wake the system from standby by looking at the camera. We're using the latest standby technology from Intel, which means that the TELUS comes out of standby mode incredibly quickly. In fact, it's less than a second. Besides that, we have developed a Windows control app in MindExpress 5. This app allows you to support, sorry, this app supports dwell to click and zoom to click. And this is a really useful feature in that you can dwell to click on large target, targets such as desktop icons by just looking at them. For smaller targets, that are hard to select, you can toggle in zoom to collect. You can toggle on zoom to click. And then when you look at the area of the screen, it will zoom in and then click on a location, allowing you to select even the smallest targets with pinpoint accuracy. 
We were happy to collab collaborate with Intel on the development of the Tele 6. And we integrated the Intel NUC i5 8th generation processor. For the nerds out there, NUC stands for Next Generation Computing. So this processor is fast and very power efficient. It's only a little bit bigger than a credit card. And this technology made it possible to make our TELUS extremely thin and powerful at the same time. As you read in the testimonials of the parents of one of our testers, the battery life is very good. And of course, we tested this with our own battery burn-in tests. In our test, the TELUS plays a video continuously until it shuts down. We also test streaming videos from the internet. These internal tests and the feedback of our testers confirm that the TELUS 6 i6 is a communication device you can rely on. So what is the battery life? Well, without eye tracking, you will get nine hours of continual use. And with eye tracking, we get seven hours of continual use. These are worst case figures, and we would expect that in normal day-to-day -day use, you would get more than the figures quoted. <clears throat> so as mentioned, the battery life allows you to use the TELUS all day without a charge. It's also useful to know the status of your battery. And as well as having a battery level monitor cell within your MindExpress page sets, the on-off power indicator also shows you the status of the battery. It is green when between fully charged and 50%, orange when below half charged, and red when a charge is necessary. On the front of the device, next to the power button, there is also a charging indicator, and this shows the charging status of the battery. I already explained that the device has the ability to go into standby mode by looking directly at the camera. But it's also important to know that we can wake up in less than one second. It is also possible to get out of standby by gaze, touch or switch. The quick standby and wake features will help extend battery life in daily use. Another nice feature for Switch users is that you can turn the TELUS on from a completely off state just by pressing your external switch. This can be set to instantly on or to have a small delay to stop accidentally turning on your TELUS with a switch press. We put a lot of development to the sound quality and volume on the TELUS 6. There are two integrated closed speaker boxes within the TELUS. These were developed specifically to provide an excellent full sound quality. As you can get as loud as you want, the quality of the sound is just great. Try it yourself, you won't be disappointed. The partner display is not a new feature on Jabra devices. We first introduced this innovating feature on the Allura and then in the Vibe and the Vibe 12 some time ago. We have improved this on the, on the new Tele 6 with a larger screen. And the four inch OLED partner display provides a razor sharp view from every angle. This is because of the technology that was used to integrate this screen in our device. For the techie people among us, this screen was optically bonded. I won't lose myself in the details, but the important thing is that this greatly reduces reflections, especially when you are outside. The visibility of the second display is very important. It is a very useful way of getting your message across, especially when dealing with members of the public who may not be used to listening to voice synthesizers. It is also possible to switch this display off, very useful for when you are composing private messages. At Jabla, we're not satisfied when we improve things. We also need to innovate to help users in moving forward with their communication. And this is what we've done by integrating the tilt cam into the back of the TELUS. More than ever, we live in a society where images have a very important role. We communicate by sending pictures. We take pictures to remind ourselves of things. I'm almost entirely sure that each one of us takes daily pictures with their smartphone. Sitting in a wheelchair, not always having the physical ability to use a smartphone can make this difficult. Webcams currently integrated into speech devices are fixed in one direction and don't offer a lot of freedom to the user regarding taking pictures. If the device is mounted for optimal, optimal eye gaze access or being able to see the screen, then often the angle of the webcam is not optimal for taking pictures. And this is why we've integrated the tilt cam. This gives the user the ability to tilt and pan the camera in different directions and able to be able to zoom in. The user is no longer limited to this single view a traditional back camera offers. I will show you this live on the TELUS in just a minute. Additionally to this, we created a see-through app in MindExpress, 
allowing the user to see where they are heading in their wheelchair. This effectively makes the teller see through, allowing the user to be able to see the view that they would normally that would normally be lost to them, having the teller mounted in front of them. Additionally, there is a small settings page that allows the user to set the camera at just the right angle and zoom amount, and then set that view as the default mode to use when driving. The see through app and the tilt and pan functions of this camera make the teller a truly wheelchair friendly device. The Teller 6 comes supplied with two integrated environmental control options. We have the Jabla IR module, allowing you to learn traditional infrared remote controls like TV remotes, and a Z-Wave radio transmitter. Z-Wave operates using low energy radio waves to communicate from device to device, allowing you to control many smart home devices, such as the Philips Hue lighting system. The TELUS now comes with an integrated mounting plate that will work with both DAISY and rear deck mounting systems. We also have a key guard solution where they are held in place by robust clips. In fact, it's the same solution we use as the Vibe and the Vibe 12. We can, make standard key, we can supply standard key guards for existing page sets, or we can custom make them to your specifications. So please be patient with me while I just share my screen of the Teller 6. I'm going to show you the tilt cam in option in, in action. OK, so hopefully now you can see my uh, view of my Teller 6 screen. And I'm just going to launch the camera app for the Teller 6. Now this is a view out of my window. And as you can see, the image is currently out of focus. So I can select the focus button. And then I can choose different options. I've got auto focus on, which will now improve the little picture. Uh, and you'll also see that there's options for, uh, for focusing farther or closer, so I can manually focus my camera as well. Now, the exciting thing is I can now tilt my camera up, I can zoom in, and I can now pan the camera left and right. Now I can take a picture using the take picture button down here on the bottom right. Once I've now taken the picture, it's taken me to my camera view page where I can look at my previous pictures that I've taken and I can then, for instance, send them an email in Mind Express. And I can pan through pictures and you can see a few pictures that I've been taking in the last few days. Okay, and then lastly, I'd like to show you uh, the Seafood app for driving your wheelchair. So if the view is not correct for driving, then what you do is you choose the settings cell, and you can then pan your camera either up or down, and zooming in. Once you've got the image you want, you then press the little save button at the bottom here, and uh, that will now store that as the default view. So when I go back into my see-through mode, it will always remember that last setting that I had set as my default say, uh, my default view. Okay, I'm just going to switch back to my other device. Okay, so here are the technical specifications of the Teller 6. So it comes as standard with Windows 10 Professional and Mind Express 5 already installed. It has eight gigabytes of RAM, a uh, 500 gigabyte solid state hard disk and has the latest Wi-Fi standard along with Bluetooth 5.1. Now increasingly people already have peripherals such as keyboards and mice, so we now have an optional accessory pack for those that require it. The Toby IS5 camera can also be installed giving you the TELUS i6. So the touchscreen is a capacitive one uh, and as well as the tilt cam, the user facing front cam is five mega megapixels and the unique tilt cam is 13 megapixels. It has a single USB socket for use with the latest fast USB peripherals and a standard USB A socket as well. There are switch inputs for scanning and infrared and Z wave environmental control is integrated by default. So thank you for attending this event and your interest in the Teller 6 and the i6. So please visit the website address shown for further details. If you'd like to try out the Teller 6 or the i6, 
and please visit the other address shown to find the Jabla representative in your country. So Jabla look forward to working with you in the future with the Telus 6 and the I6. Thank you and goodbye.